Hey guys, it's Lisa from the blog FarmhouseOnBoon.com and today I want to show you how to make all natural lavender cocoa sunscreen. I am doing this video in collaboration with my sister Lara over at Our Oily House. She's going to be showing you how to make a bug spray that's essential oil based, non-toxic, but that actually works to keep the bugs off. So now I'm going to introduce you to my sister Lara. Hey everyone, I'm Lara, Lisa's sister. I'm super excited to be doing this collaboration video with her. So after you watch her make sunscreen, be sure to hop over to my channel to see how to make homemade bug spray for the summertime. Our oily house where I share natural remedies, essential oil education, and oil recipes for health, home, and body. Okay, so let's learn how to make sunscreen. Now I have been using this recipe for several years. I have not used conventional sunscreen on my kids or in my family. This sunscreen recipe actually really, really works. So let me explain to you why it works first of all. Conventional sunscreen that you get at the store, it puts a chemical barrier on your skin that blocks it from the sun. It's usually make up, made up of chemicals that are endocrine disruptors, that are cancer causing, not good for you things. But what I'm gonna show you instead is a mineral barrier sunscreen. And in this case, the mineral barrier that we're gonna use is zinc oxide powder. So if you're familiar or if you've ever used a desitin diaper rash cream on your kids, you know that when you put that on, the moisture stays away from their skin because that desitin puts a barrier between the skin and the moisture in the diaper. Well, that's because it's a zinc oxide based diaper cream. And so the same is true for sun. So this sits on top of your skin and it keeps the sun from reaching into your skin. And it's actually super effective at doing so. I've taken my kids on trips to Florida where we've been outside all day long and we've only used this and we never have any problem with sunburn. It's actually super, super simple recipe. All you need is equal parts shea butter, cocoa butter, olive oil, coconut oil, and beeswax. And that's gonna make the cream. And then to that, we're going to add in the zinc oxide powder to make that mineral barrier between the skin and the sun. I'm just gonna get those ingredients going in a double boiler. I don't have an actual double boiler. I'm gonna put them in this bowl and then put them over a pot of boiling water and allow them to melt here in this bowl. I'm gonna do about a quarter cup of each ingredient so that will last me all through the entire summer. I will link the sources below for the beeswax, the non-nano zinc oxide, cocoa butter, shea butter, and all the other ingredients that are in this sunscreen, the ones that I use for this. After that's all done melting, you want to add an equal part of non-nano zinc oxide. Now the reason you want it to be non-nano is nano zinc oxide. They've broken it down into a tiny, tiny, tiny particle that can actually go through into your skin and you don't want that, you want the barrier to stay on top of your skin. And so this will make your skin more white and it'll leave kind of a white film, but that's a good thing and that's okay. And kids especially don't seem to mind it. I'm also gonna add in about 10 drops of lavender essential oil. It's just very soothing for the skin. I'm just gonna leave this out on my counter and whisk it occasionally over the next few hours. It will start to harden up, and if I continue to whisk it, the zinc oxide will get fully incorporated and it will kind of harden up, and then that way it'll be more like a nice fluffy cream. Now I'm gonna store my sunscreen in a glass jar like this and use one of these plastic lids so I don't have to worry about rust when this is in my pool bag. Um, and at the pool on the beach this summer and it'll keep for about a season. I try to get my kids outside for at least 20 to 30 minutes each day without any sun protection for the vitamin D benefits that it provides. So you definitely don't want to have yourself completely covered from the sun at all times. It's important to get that vitamin D, but obviously overexposure that causes burns is harmful for the skin and not good for you. Make sure to visit the link below. I have a free ebook that has tons of great recipes on body care products that don't have chemicals in them that you can make with some basic ingredients at home. So there's a diaper cream recipe, hand sanitizer, lip balm, body butter. There's actually 10 recipes for you for all natural body care and I'm giving it to you for free. So I will leave the link below for you to snag your copy. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
be sure to head over to watch my sister Laura's video on how to make a bug spray that's essential oil based that actually works to repel bugs without DEET and all the other harmful chemicals. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse. Thank you.